Hello everyone. Welcome to Watch and Learn. Cone Elevator and Mono Scaffold Less Installation Method Guide Video. 1. Installation Preparation Before starting installation, five site absolutes must be fulfilled. Fitter must wear safety helmet, safety goggles, high visible vest, safety harness, safety gloves, safety shoes with ankle protection. Fitter must have Take Two certification. Check all necessary tools are available. Two, installing the hoist, diverting pulley, and overspeed governor. Change the full height entrance protection to 1100 millimeter height protection at the topmost floor. This step needs fitter at topmost floor and fitter at bottom floor to cooperate with each other. The fitter at topmost floor lowers the pull rope and power cable down to the bottom floor slowly. Connect the hoist rope hook to the pull rope by the fitter at the bottom floor. Then pull the hoist rope hook up to the topmost floor by the fitter at top landing. Route the hoist rope over the diverting pulley. Secure the hook axle with the safety pin. Attach the securing rope hook of the hoist diverter pulley to the telescopic pole. Pull the telescopic pole and move the securing rope hook into shaft. Attach the securing rope hook to the lifting eye over the machine. Attach the hoist diverting pulley to the telescopic pole. Hold the telescopic pole and move the hoist diverter pulley into shaft. Attach the hoist diverting pulley to main lifting eye in the middle. Lower the man riding hoist hook down to the bottom floor slowly. Recover the topmost floor full entrance protection and remove the fixing bracket of harness. Transport the man riding hoist to the bottom landing. Connect the power cable and pendant controller. If the hoist motor does not run, reverse two phases in the plug by rotating the phase changer in the plug housing. Feed rope through the shorter protection spring at top of hoist. Another fitter drive the hoist by using pendant controller. Attach the adapter and parking chain correctly. Check the safety pin. Attach the hoist rope hook to the fixing bar on the top of man riding hoist. Install the hoist test bracket on the lift well wall in a height of 1,000 to 1,400 millimeters from the pit floor. Drive and move the man riding hoist into shaft. Secondary protection must be done before test. Drive the hoist slowly upwards until the test plate breaks. Store the test plate with record card. After testing, check the condition of hoist pulley and lifting eye from the topmost landing. Route the pulling rope through the overspeed governor hanger and pulley bracket. Tighten the hook to maintain a correct position. Ensure there is approximately 4 meters between the hanger and pulley bracket. Attach the hanger to the telescopic pole. Attach the hanger to the lifting eye of overspeed governor. Fix the overspeed governor to the pulley bracket. 
Pass the overspeed governor rope over the small groove. Secure the rope end. Pull the pulling rope to hoist the overspeed governor to the hanger and engage in the hanger hook. Three, installing shaft mechanic components. At topmost floor, fix the plumbing template support 1100 millimeters above floor level and adjust the levelness. Assemble the plumb template at the top landing. Ensure the correct DBG of the car guide rails. Install the L profile of the landing door plumb line fixing and locate at center. Install the car guide rail plumb line fixings. Ensure the distance is DBG plus 80 millimeters. Fix the template on the crossbar temporarily. Tighten the template after check all the dimensions at each floor. Clean the guide rail before installation. Lift the guide rail into shaft. Adjust the guide rails by using alignment tools. Install the pit ladder according to layout drawing. Install the overspeed governor tension weight. Install the buffer. Lift the counterweight frame into shaft and install. Install the bottom beam, pulley beam, upright, car platform, then load 40% fillers into counterweight frame. Install car walls, car roof, top beam, and car top balustrade. Attach man riding hoist to the top beam. Check the safety ring at both ends of axle. Install the ASGT to the top beam in the same way. Install the hoist rope tension weight. Connect the ASGT rope to the safety gear linkage. Adjust the safety gear clearance. Test the ASGT function. Drive the car approximately 500 millimeters above the buffer. Open the latch release to engage the safety gear. The safety gear must engage. Drive the car downwards to ensure that the safety gear has engaged fully. Drive the car downwards until the hoist rope is slack. Press the upper part of the ASGT down. Ensure that the latch release has engaged to the pin. The automatic safety gear trigger must be latched. Drive the car upwards. Check the safety gear marks on the guide rails. The marks should be at the same height and of the same depth and length. Before using man riding hoist to hoist materials, must engage safety gear and secure the car with parking chain. Hoist the guide rail to position. Install remaining guide rails. Install overspeed governor to final position. Keep the overspeed governor rope on the smaller groove. 4. Machine installation. Mark the topmost car guide rail bracket to the wall. Remove the topmost guide rail bracket. Move the securing rope hook to the overspeed governor lifting eye. Attach the manual chain hoist to the machine lifting eye. Test the lifting eye using a test plate. 
check that the lifting eye is not damaged. Store the record card with test plate. Fix the machine bed plate to the car guide rail. Attach the pull rope to ease the guide rail, pivoting and lifting. Pivot the guide rail against the counterweight guide rail bracket. Engage the safety gear by activating the ASGT and secure the car with parking chain. Raise the machine slightly. Adjust the adjustable chain to its maximum length, 1.5 meters, to be able to release the man riding hoist hook after hoisting the machine up. Hoist the machine above its final position. Pull the car guide rail back to position. Lower the man riding hoist and attach the hook to the ASGT. Lower the machine onto the bed plate. Fix the machine to the guide rail. Install the topmost guide rail bracket according to the mark. 5. Installing remaining components in shaft. Install electrification component. Install the landing door with man riding hoist. Install suspension rope. Dismantle man riding hoist. Drive the car up to the top landing. Loosen the hoist rope. Remove the securing rope, then remove the hoist diverting pulley. Remove the man riding hoist and adapter. Remove the ASGT. Commissioning for inspection drive. Finish remaining work as normal way.